welcome friends in today's video we are going to see what is store procedure when you are working with uh, any real time projects at that time uh, there are a lot of uh, difficulties you will face while developing this store procedure because there may be a different parameter is used and a different a difficult store procedure is uh, is used that while you are retrieving you will get lot of problems so i have come up, come up here with some simple solution uh, like how we can tackle this problem first we will understand uh, like uh, how what is the store procedure so first here if you see a store procedure is a set of sql statement that can be stored in the database and executed as a single unit means it is a set of sql statement like select star from table or we can call it as select a employee names or this is the multiple statement we can combine and uh, we call it as a one store procedure uh, like uh, we executed queries uh, one by one we can execute all queries at a, a time that is the we can call it as a store procedure then store procedure are used to encapsulate uh, repetitive and complex operation in the database improving performance maintainability and security so what it will do it will encapsulate repetitive and complex operation in the database means we can once define in one single unit we can call that store procedure and it will improve performance maintainability and security so here are some characteristic of the store procedure encapsulation a store procedure encapsulate multiple sql statement into a single unit making the code easier to manage as we have seen then performance store procedure are pre-compiled means it is pre-compiled which we which means they can execute faster than sending individual SQL queries from the an application. Means we if we are sending one by one queries, we can combining that at a one, one time and that is pre-compiled. So we will get performance here. Then security store procedure can help secure database operation by restricting direct access to the underlying data and allowing access only through the procedures. So what it will do, it will restrict the operation and we it will provide us a security as well then maintainability changes to the database logic can be made in the store procedure without altering the application so it will give us maintainability by not doing any changes on the database logic level we can directly call this store procedure we will understand this with one example first uh, here uh, i have one simple uh, script uh, that is a store procedure uh, I have one table uh, in which I have few records. I am hoping that you know how to create table and uh, insert record in that. So here I have created one customer table in that I have some record. I will retrieve this city based on the city names. So here if you see, I have created store procedure accordingly. So get customer by city. This is the store procedure. How we can create by starting with delimiter create is a word to create store procedure that with the name name we need to write get customer by city and we need to pass the parameters so here if we see we are passing single parameter as a, we there are multiple parameters available in the real-time database so first we will understand with some basics then we can go step by step in advanced procedures as well so here first query i am writing here begin select star from customer where city equal to city names so what is store procedure store procedure is a set of uh, sql queries that we can execute at a uh, one time and it is end then delimiters so here is no store procedure available currently i am just executing this statement so it will create new store procedure inside this store procedure so i have executed this let's refresh we got this get customer by city store procedure now we will go into the our uh, IntelliJ id here i have created one class that is customer and i have annotated with this the at the rate customer in that i have few fields id name city and for the getter setter as well as the getter getters getter setter is sufficient for this then next what we will do uh, we will start from the, our service so service layer will give us uh, service layer will uh, we can call uh, repository st store procedure from the service layer so first i am writing here one method that will give us customer get customer by city from the database uh, 
from the repository layer. Let's create this uh, layer first. Public list of customer I am using. List of customer. So this is our entity customer we need to take. Then I am passing, uh, I am creating one method get customer by city get by city. And inside this, I am sending city, which is at the rate param I will use at the rate param. And I will use city name as a city name. We need to pass string city name. And uh, once I have passed this, I will call my repository layer here. So return. So we need to first create, uh, we need to first create one store procedure inside our repository. For that I am creating one store procedure here. So I will, we can use a uh, spring annotation here. So procedure to call the procedure we need to write name of the procedure name of the procedure equal to uh there uh, we need to pass our name of the store procedure for that uh, i am writing get customer by city get customer instead of this i will get name from here directly we can pass this store procedure name to here once we have passed this we will create one method that will give us list of customers so list of customer then get customer by city is the method get customer by city and we will pass to add the right param and city name. For this, I will pass string as a city name. So once we have defined this method, let's import this list. Once list is imported, we go inside this, we will call this. We need to inject this bin of the at the rate repository. For, for that I'm using at the rate auto wired customer repository customer repository and this will give us the bin so i am calling the method dot get customer by id and i will pass this as a city name so we need to annotate this as a service so it will spring container will create bin for this class. So now we have need to create endpoint for this. So here if you see, I have injected this service bin here and uh, we need to create get mapping. So for that I am using get mapping. Get mapping will be customer by, by city name. Now we need to create method which will be public list of customer customer entity get customer by city and we will pass at the rate request parameter annotation to pass from here at the rate request param. So I have created one video on which annotation we use there that I will link, I will provide in the, or you can watch in the, our channel guys. So once I have passed this at the rate city as a parameter, so we need to return customer service, which is customer service equal to customer service dot get customer by city. I will pass from here. So now we have created endpoint. So we will hit this endpoint from our 
postman let's run first our application here if you see i have created one endpoint which is http local host 8080 customer by city i am passing this ct as a parameter let's see if our application is started or not So our application almost started. So it is started on 8080 port number. Let's hit our endpoint from here. Now static resource customers by city. What is the issue here? No static resource. With customer by city. Let's check this. What is the issue in this? Here we miss adding the customers as we have added here only customers. Let's rerun this application again. Our application is started here on 8080. We will hit this again. Let's hit this endpoint. Get customer procedure get customer uncle dot get customer by city does not exit. Let's check inside database if our store procedure get customers by city. The get customers by city is the name. And here, what is the customer? Get customer by city. So we are missing here. Yes, inside our store procedures. Go inside this. Get customers by city. Let's add this yes here. Good customers by city. Let's see then this again. Application is started. Let's hit this endpoint again. So still we have some issue. You are trying to execute for other procedure method without surrounding transaction that keep the connection open so the result set can actually be consumed. Make sure consumer puts at the rate transactional. So it is saying use at the rate transactional over our this class. So here we see we need to use at the rate transactional. Let's add at the rate transactional here. It is spring framework annotation, reruns, and then hit. So started. Let's hit it again. So here, if you see the way as per the our store procedure, we are retrieving the name from the our database table New York City equal to city. So these two record is retrieved from the database. Here inside if you database, uh, if you see, we have these two record in our New York, New York, these two record in our database table. That's all from this video guys. Uh, this is a uh, huge if uh, you do practice for this uh, simple example then you can understand complex example as well so first practice this uh, basic example then you can go with multiple parameters there is a lot of complexity involved in the store procedures like here we are only passing uh, one single uh, queries here but in the real time there are multiple parameters that will calculate the two product uh, result that store into the one uh, record is updated based on the columns column is updated there are a lot of complexity uh, involved in the store procedure when you are working with real-time projects 
so first practice this basic example we will see i will come up with some more advanced uh, topics on our channels please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this video guys